Hey guys, this is Sane here, and welcome back to another episode of Titanfall. Today I'm going to be going over the most overpowered class that I can make in this game. Um, by overpowered, I mean just straight up fucking people up without even having to try. So, now I normally, I never really use the shotgun, um... Uh, when I was playing before in Generation 1, which if you don't know what Generations are, Generations are Titans Falls versions of prestiging, like in Call of Duty. Um, there are 10 prestiges, just like in most of the Call of Duties. I think some of them have different amounts of prestiges. Uh, but there are, there's 10 generations, but in this, each generation you go through, you get an additional XP bonus. Now, in Call of Duty, when you prestige, all you have to do is get to the level and then prestige. In Titanfall, each generation there becomes more requirements and these requirements are in gun kills. So say the shotgun, the 40 millimeter, um, things like that. For the To get, be able to evolve from generation 2 to generation 3, you have to have a shit ton of 40 millimeter, can, fill up 40 millimeter cannon kills, which is the Titan weapon, and then you also have to have a shit ton of shotgun kills. So, you complete both of those after you reach level 50, and then you'll be able to go in Generation 3. So that's why I started using the shotgun, because I never really used it. Um, I knew very well that it was overpowered, that it was very strong, uh, especially in close quarters, you could completely dominate with people. But, since I didn't know, I was already level 50. I'm level 50 right now, and I didn't know that I had to do this other shotgun shit to be able to to evolve to the next gen. So when I did, I was like, alright, how can I make this the most badass class to just be able to get through these kills as fast as possible? How I did that was I used the shotgun. I had no attachments unlocked for the shotgun, so I'm just using it bare bones. Um, I would recommend unlocking the, um, the extended mag attachment. You can use that. That's the only one I would recommend for the shotgun. But as you can see right here, I am using Promethean Vision. It's not called Promethean Vision. That's what it's called in Halo. Um, it's called Active Radar Pulse, I think is what it is. But basically what that is, is you can see through walls. You can see players and you can see grunts through the walls. You can see like their, their heartbeat and it'll pulse all around. Now this isn't a burn card. They do have burn cards like that, but this is just the straight a tactical ability so this replaces my um, my cloak or my stem that I would have I never use stem I know a lot of people use stem and they really like being able to run fast I normally use cloak but for this shotgun look I can see that player coming in I know exactly where he's gonna be and so I just wait for him wait for him to come in there he is camouflage and I just take him out this setup is the most overpowered thing I think I've ever experienced during this game. I almost felt bad using it, but at the same time I was like, hey, Respawn, you guys made me have to use the shotgun, so I'm going to use it to the best of my ability. Now I'm going to show you guys how to use it. So as you can see here, I'm wrecking on people. Just using, if you don't know my Titan loadout already, um, I have done a Titan review, my best review, or not my best reviews, but my, my favorite loadout weapons. This is kind of a, a number two of that. My Titan loadout is still the exact same. I use the Ogre, I use the 40 millimeter cannon, I use the multi-target missiles, and I use the electric smoke. I always have to have the electric smoke. I, don't, I do not like running around without the electric smoke just because I get rodeo so much but that's my Titan loadout hasn't changed the difference between this loadout is instead of using cloak for my pilot um, I use obviously the active radar which I don't believe it's called active radar I can't remember exactly what it's called I'm sorry about that um, but yeah it's that it's my Q button it's that little pulse to where you can actually see you can even see the Titans running through it I use that and then I also use the shotgun instead of the carbine now I'm not saying that I will be using this constantly because like I said I felt a little cheap using this to be honest with you because it was I was literally pissing people off so much that they were calling me hackers right off the bat just saying because I would go on massive kill streaks I would go stuff that I would never do in carbine with my carbine I was doing like regularly with this setup every game that I was in I was going about 12 and 1 or like 15 and 1 just getting like a couple a couple deaths and then a shit ton of pilot kills now I will say that this setup works primarily 
you should be primarily playing this in domination. This is the setup. Uh, this is the game mode that's going to really allow you to um, take advantage of this. Because when you're running in to capture an objective, all you got to do check out what I'm about to do right here. I believe this is when I do it. Um, I'm going to jump out, and I'm just going to jump straight in, turn on my active radar, and I'll be able to see them anyway. And any time you're in these close quarter situations, the shotgun is just going to completely wreck them. The only time it's not going to win is if you just really have no fucking idea where the, where the enemy is. And then, in which case, they'll be able to just spray at you. But that's why you have this active radar pulse. So you can just spam that, run in, know exactly where they are, and you can get the drop on them. It's going to have a lot of people thinking that you have um, wall hacks. That you are well, technically you do have wall hacks, but it's in the game, so you know, no harm, no foul. It's gonna be pissing a lot of people off. Um, I would say that this is by far the easiest. Uh, look at that, 17 and two, the fucking beginning of the goddamn game, 17 and two. That is ridiculous. I never got such. I mean, I had some pretty badass kill streaks. Don't get me wrong with my carbine um, and my Spitfire LMG. I really like that one for close quarters, but. With this, it just fucking completely mercs people. You'll see me killing a bunch of specters right here because, like I said, um, I had to get a bunch of kills with the shotgun to be able to go to my next generation. At the end of this video, you actually see me completing my objective and then I get to go to the next gen. But if you're looking for a super easy, super fun time to just really... Like, I would say that this is more of a warm-up class. Um, you're not really trying to... Um, play competitively with this well competitively you're gonna fuck some shit up too but you know um, I like to not use gun like classes like this um, all the time because I feel if you use this class all the time you would simply just you don't have the same accuracy as what you would when you use the carbine all the time you're not gonna have the same skill on long ranges but if you do like to play a lot of hardpoint domination, this is definitely the class to go with. Um, I promise you, you'll be at the top of the leaderboards as long as you do it right. It's easy peasy, lemon squeezy all day long. Alright guys, I hope you enjoy the rest of this commentary. Um, remember to check this fucking loadout out. I guarantee you, if you don't like this loadout, go ahead and tell me why down in the comments section. If you're not able to do well with this loadout, tell me why in the comments section. I believe that this is the most easiest class to master. Um, easy peasy don't worry about it it'll be good if you liked it this video don't forget to hit that like button and also subscribe for more videos like this one we are going to be posting a video very soon on how to look at that fucking titan what the hell just happened right there but we are going to be posting a video on how to boost in this game now this isn't boosting that will get you um, banned this isn't boosting that's going to get you um, it's not a, a hack or a glitch this is just how using the burn cards and properly using your class is gonna get you a shit ton of experience. Alright guys, if you do want to see that video, remember to subscribe, subscribe to this channel so you know exactly when it comes out. This is Saiyan, signing out for Saiyan and Raxon. Be sure to check us out in the next one, and I'll see you there. One last quick tip, use these cords right here. They're on every single map in the game, and look at this. I was on the complete opposite side of the map, and I'm going to be able to easily just traverse all the way to the other side. You can completely get around. This helps you especially a shit ton and capture the flag, guys. Use all these cords because it'll be able to take you all the way immediately to the fucking other player's base and capture that flag and then get you all the way back. Alright guys, thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I'm going to go ahead and give you one more goodbye. This is Saiyan, signing out. If you enjoyed, hit that like button and subscribe for more videos. Be sure to check us out on the next one, and I'll see you there.